uh, the retweet, which is what it was, the retweet, was from somebody that's a uh, very respected conservative pundit. So uh, I think that was fun, yeah. President Donald Trump is someone who has really trafficked in conspiracy theories for many years, long before he ended up in the Oval Office. This is, of course, the man who was really the driver behind the lie that Barack Obama was not a U.S. citizen, was not born in the United States. Uh, Trump has always gotten um, energized and kind of excited by some of these cons conspiracies. You know, when you're a private citizen, though, that is one thing. When you're doing that as president of the United States, it's a whole other thing. The the, the megaphone that you have as president gives you just this enormous platform to really push conspiracies. Uh, and we have seen that in office, Trump really hasn't shied away from using that huge platform to, uh, to, to dispense misinformation, to raise things that are floating around on some of the fringes of the internet. Do you really think that Clintons are involved in Jeffrey Epstein's death? I have no idea. I know he was on his plane 27 times. And he said he was on the plane four times. But when they checked the plane log, Bill Clinton, who is a very good friend of Epstein, he was on the plane about 27 or 28 times. And Epstein had an island that was not a good place, as I understand it, and I was never there. So you have to ask, did Bill Clinton go to the island? That's the question. If you find that out, you're going to know a lot. Often what he will do is he will sort of raise a question. He will, he will say, you know, I don't know if this is true or not, but it's something that people are talking about. So he has a little bit of deniability saying, hey, I never said that that was right. I just said it was something that people are talking about. One of the other ways that he does that is in retweets. Uh, it's it's something that he is pushing forward using his enormous platform on Twitter to promote. It's not in his own words, which gives him a little bit of deniability around that. And we saw this uh, as he was leaving for his uh, for a rally in Pennsylvania, where he basically defended uh, retweeting a conspiracy theory involving uh, Bill Clinton and Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah, he's a very highly respected conservative pundit. He's a big Trump fan. Uh, that was a retweet. That wasn't from me. That was from him. But he's a man who has uh, half a million followers, a lot of followers, and he's respected. As to why he does it, you know, it's one of those uh, continuing questions about the Trump presidency. Is he doing it because he wants to deflect from other things that are happening? Uh, is he doing it because he just finds conspiracy theories kind of fun and, and interesting? Um, or is he doing it because he really believes some of these things? You know, in, in talking to people uh, around him, you know, they have all kinds of theories of their own on this on this uh, this habit of his. But certainly it's something that, you know, I would expect to continue deep into the election for sure.